Hey folks, Fatty Farm here. Got a bunch of beautiful leather holsters out on my table here. Now these are my two EDC firearms, the Glock 27, the Glock 42. We've already seen a video of this one. Made one several months ago, I believe it was sometime in October, whatever. I already made a video on this one. Gorgeous gun. I'll leave a link in the description box below to the Glock 42 video if you want to go watch this after this video. But this video is not about this, you know, this set of holsters right here. It's about this one. So let's get these out of the way. In just a second, we'll be right back. As you can see, this holster and the magazine holster is the same mahogany color as the Glock 42 holster. And I really like this color. Uh, it's very rich, vibrant. It's not brown. It's not red. It's it's gorgeous in my mind. If you know, and he's probably got a ton of different stains that you could put on here. And oh, by the way. This is the same holster guy that made the Glock 42 holster, John Medlin of Ace Leatherworks. Again, he does great work. I, I have no complaints, man. I've been wearing this holster for, oh God, since before December. Uh, you know, not every day, probably four times a you know, week. Uh, you know, I like this as my winter EDC, you know, bigger bullet, you know, can get through jackets. My summer EDC will be the Glock 42, most likely. Uh, but the gun carries very, very well. The way, you know, the holster keeps it in the forward, you know, slightly forward cant is really nice. These are really thick, you know, front and back, you know, leather to it. So it's a very stiff holster. The retention's really, really good, too. You know, you can see not coming out and you know, so really really nice same with the magazine holster you know good thick leather now it is a bit lighter leather you know as far as you know thickness than the holster because this doesn't need to be as thick it's not carrying it something as heavy but it's still really good leather you know I don't know how well you can see the split there but well the thickness of the thicknesses of the leather but it's a really nice magazine holster and I have, you know, I have had this loosened up, you know, over time, you know, it was a lot stiffer, but, you know, I'm not doing cartwheels, I'm not hanging upside down, so, you know, that is pretty darn good in my book, I, you know, I'm not needing it to, you know, hold, you know, hold 100 pounds upside down, you know, so it doesn't need to do that, but in the other video, I did talk about that I purchased a holster for my dad for his Glock 30S, and I'm going to show you that holster here in just a bit. He also, my father also purchased a holster for his car CW45, and I'm going to show you that holster in just a sec. Both of them were made by the same guy, John Medlin, and, you know, my dad's less flashy and dashy than I am. You know, I like having a bit of pattern, you know, as far as, you know, you see from there and there, you know. I like to have a little pizzazz, because if I'm going to open carry, I at least want it to look pretty. Uh, you know, plus when I am open carrying, I'm always in, you know, slacks and a polo or, you know, nice jeans and a collared shirt and everything's tucked in, you know, you know, in a nice leather belt. So I don't look like a hobo and I don't look like some idiot carrying around some big ass stupid rifle uh, you know, acting like a moron. I at least look professional and I look, you know, well put together. So let me get these out of the way and show you the other holsters. Now that I've got the other two holsters out. You can see this is the car CW45 holster, and this is the Glock 30S hol- Wait no, that's not right. That's the Glock 30S holster, and that's the car CW45. My bad. We'll start with this one. This is the one I got for my dad you know, after he really liked my Glock 42 holster. And, you know, he didn't want any all the stampings or the the embellishments, all the prettiness that my holster has, but still, this is a beautiful mahogany. Leather, it's just gorgeous. Both of these are the mahogany color. And, you know, again, both, you know, made by John Medlin. The, you know, this holster, he wore for about a month and a half, maybe two months, you know, the holster itself. And the magazine holster, he, you know, he never really, you know, practiced the draw of the magazine holster. You know, so, you know, this is still pretty darn tight. Uh, you know, this one, you know, if it was me, I'd have this loosened up a bit. But, you know, my dad, whatever. But this actually, the Th Glock 30S holster actually has a really good, you know, fit, good snug fit. You can, let me let you hear it. 
you know, just good grip, good fit on the gun. And what's really nice is, you know, it's got the cut back here so it doesn't, you know, your body doesn't accidentally push the magazine release. And when you go to grab the gun, you can see the cut of the holster lets you just grab the gun and have a good firing grip on it already. And again, both of these guns have been safety checked before the video, so don't freak out. Let's set that one down. And let's look at the car CW45 holster. Again, you know, John Medlin did this one. What I like about this one is, you know, it's not so much leather up here. And again, you can get a good firing grip. You know, you, you know, your hand's not bumping up against any leather. And if you need to, which you don't need to really that bad, is use the, you know, to, your thumb to help push, you know, as you're drawing. You shouldn't need to. Uh, Dad's only worn this a couple times. You know, he, he just likes the look of them. Uh, you know, let me let you listen to this holster. It's amazing. You can just hear the gun just... It just snaps right in there, really. It's, it fits like a glove. Doesn't move. Really, really nice. And that... You hear that shaking was my watch. Really, really nice gun. Really, really nice holster. And the holsters are, you know, again, made of very thick leather. You know, you can tell that's some pretty thick leather. Very, very strong. You know, again, magazine holster here. You know, really, really nice holsters. I, you know, I can't, you know, say enough good things about these holsters. They're just beautiful, beautifully made. You know, the stitching, the quality of the leather, the quality of the work is really, really nice. Uh, his turnaround times are quite good compared to other, you know, holster companies I've had to deal with that just take you know 10 weeks and one of them was 10 weeks so uh, that's a long time these only took uh, I think the longest one was three weeks and that was because his wife had a baby and congratulations to him and his wife on their new child but you know I think that was you know, one of these was like you know three four weeks something like that but because of a new baby I understand that you know new baby cool but again folks these are just gorgeous holsters and they are mahogany and you know he could you know stain them however you want you know you the viewer whatever guns again he's got tons of molds i didn't have to send him a single gun for him to make the holster for he's an ffl he's able to get you know i guess he's got a bunch of blue guns i don't know how he does it but folks this is fatty with a firearm if you like this video please like share and subscribe i'm going to leave a link in the description box below to John Medlin's website because folks he makes great holsters I and his communication back and forth online second to none he's very quick to respond you know it's not like you have to wait you know a couple hours maybe but you know some folks I've had to deal with it's days you know make even closer to a week you have to deal with before you get a response this guy a couple hours max I believe and you know, so folks these are great holsters great great holsters for the value these are not you know 100 150 200 holsters you know some holsters get very expensive you know from some folks these are very moderately priced for some dang good quality i i cannot recommend these enough you know folks go over to his website he's got a bunch of pictures of a bunch of other holsters he's done go show him some love order a couple holsters from him you will not be disappointed i promise so, folks, again, this is Fatty with a Firearm. Thanks for watching.